Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we're taking a look at the latest OLED TV from LG. This is the LG OLED Evo G3, which is LG's flagship 4K OLED for 2023. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So I have the 65 inch version here, which is not only great for movies, but also perfect for gaming as it has HDMI 2.1 ports supporting 120 Hertz. It supports variable refresh rate, is Nvidia G-Sync compatible and supports AMD FreeSync Premium together with having a lightning fast 0.1 millisecond response time. And can you believe LG is celebrating its 10th year of selling OLED TVs with them introducing their first one back in 2013? So I'll be showing you around the design of the G3, the ports it has, setting it up and testing it out for general usage. So watching movies, TV shows, using streaming services and gaming to see what the picture quality is like together with seeing how well it performs. So hopefully this video will give you an idea if it's worth getting or not. Plus I'll highlight any positives and negatives I've found regarding it. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. The TV comes in a large box and due to its size, it's definitely worth getting someone to give you a hand setting it up. Removing the straps on either side and cutting open the top reveals the accessories. So you get a bag containing some paperwork, an IR blaster extension cable, a remote control and some batteries. There's also a box containing wall mount accessories which includes a bag of screws and raw plugs, some stickers used for mounting, a template used for installation purposes, some instructions and a warranty card and the wall mount bracket. Lifting the box off and removing the foam protectors, you can lift the TV out of the packaging and place it on a clean flat surface. Looking at the back of the LG OLED EVO G3, you have points where the wall mount brackets hook onto and you also have a 300 by 300 millimeter VESA mounting points. Ports wise along the side, you have the common interface with a USB input and two HDMI 2.1 ports with one supporting eARC. There's another set of ports which are downward facing and this is where you have the IR blaster, a satellite or aerial input, an optical digital audio output, an ethernet connection port. There's two more HDMI 2.1 ports and two USB input ports. It also supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. There's also two locations for cable management allowing you to clip your cables into place and below that you have the power cable that's attached and isn't removable. So something to be aware of if you're feeding cables through a narrow conduit. But on the positive side, the cable is nice and long at 2.2 meters. The TV doesn't come with a stand, so if you wanted to place it on a TV cabinet, you'd have to purchase a stand separately. Now the advantage of using the wall mount bracket they've provided is that you're able to get the TV to be flush against the wall to give literally a zero gap for a minimalistic look where all the cables are hidden. But I'm going to make use of my existing wall mount as I have a power strip directly behind the TV and I may place an LED strip behind it for some ambient lighting. So I'd prefer to have a bit of a gap there. With the TV mounted, let me connect up the cables and feed the cables through the cable management. Now we can take off the warranty related sticker and peel off the protective film at the front. Looking at the front of the LG OLED EVO G3, it looks really nice and minimalistic with seriously thin bezels. There's no branding on the front and you have a small area sticking out at the bottom middle. And this is for the infrared remote pickup point. And directly underneath that, there's a power button, which also doubles up to provide some basic controls of the TV. Personally, I'd say the TV looks best wall mounted as it's really thin with a squared off design where the edges are finished in brushed aluminium, which is just 1.4 centimeters deep with the inner casing offsetting it another one centimeter. And that has holes along the edges for ventilation. And this makes it look insanely slim. It comes in four size options, starting from 55 inches, 65 inches, 77 inches, and a massive 83 inches. I've shown the dimensions of the 65 inch one, which I have on the screen. Setting this up for the first time is pretty simple. Select your language and country settings, select your input method I'll go for TV internet connection I've plugged in a cable from my router to the LAN port accept the terms and conditions select how you plan to watch the TV and this is if you have a set-top box for cable or satellite TV 
Confirm if you're using it with a stand or wall mounted and the sound will be optimized depending on this. Then enabling the AI functions for AI picture and sound pro. I've turned these on and then you're asked if you want to enable always ready. And this is where you turn off the TV, but it remains showing optimized wallpapers and you can use voice recognition or use your mobile for music playback. Select if you want automatic updates enabled. And now we can tune in any channels. If you're not using a set top box, you have both a free view and a free sat tuner built in. Next, we can sign in with an LG account. And that's it, as simple as that to get up and running. There's a couple of things worth doing initially. First of all, turn off energy saving mode as it makes a massive difference on the brightness of the picture and then check for any software updates and update if required. So you get the latest software which will have any bug fixes or enhancements. Now testing out the LG OLED Evo G3 and it doesn't disappoint. With a 65 inch screen, the picture quality looks stunning whether you're watching movies or gaming. It has wide viewing angles with impressive color and contrast levels that remain consistent at all angles with no loss in picture quality. As you can see while I move along, unlike with an LCD or IPS panel where the quality does reduce when you're watching at an angle with no tinting or loss of contrast, allowing it to provide accurate colors in bright or dark scenes with 100% color volume. Brightness is significantly higher up to 70% than its predecessor thanks to the use of MLA, which stands for Micro Lens Array Technology. And because of this, the HDR picture quality receives a boost. So in SDR, you get 350 nits and 2000 nits in HDR, which is pretty impressive. But just to note, MLA is not supported on the 83 inch model. The LG OLED EVO panel has a glossy finish which can reflect in bright rooms when there are dark scenes but the advantage of the glossy screen is that the picture quality is truly outstanding with infinite contrast providing 100% color fidelity. It's a self-lit OLED which means the pixels reach their highest brightness with no backlight so in dark scenes you get true inky blacks so there's no light bleed. There's also enhanced image processing with OLED Dynamic Tone Mapping Pro, which refines images on the screen while emphasizing contrast in areas where it's solid or dark. It also brightens mid-tone areas and adds definitive detail to give the most stunning picture quality. The LG G3 has LG's Alpha 9 AI processor 4K Gen 6, and using a vast visual and audio data points, the deep learning algorithm recognizes content quality and analyzes the content's picture and sound quality for automatic optimization. But quality can vary depending on the source resolution and it's even able to self-adjust sound volume according to the genre you're watching. And I generally found it did a pretty good job at doing that. Now let's jump in and test out some gaming on both my PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X as it's perfect for them since it has HDMI 2.1 ports on there supporting the full bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. Now I've initially got my Xbox Series X plugged in and looking in the settings everything is checked meaning that games that support 120 hertz will be supported with the added feature of variable refresh rate on the Xbox Series X and S and also on the PlayStation 5 giving a great gaming experience. AMD FreeSync Premium is also supported which reduces stuttering and screen tearing for a smoother gaming experience together with it being G-Sync compatible. There's also auto low latency mode and this is where the TV automatically activates the lowest latency setting when gaming. Gaming on the LG OLED EVO G3 is incredible with the large 65 inch display giving an amazing immersive experience on the big screen. Performance is rapid when gaming on my consoles. Both the colors and contrast levels are perfect and the icing on the cake here is the response time coming in at an incredible 0.1 milliseconds, which is better than the majority of gaming monitors out there with an input lag as low as 9.2 milliseconds at 60 frames per second in game optimizer mode. And this halves to around 4.7 milliseconds at 120 frames per second with boost mode engaged. So seriously impressive. There's also LG's game optimizer mode where you get all the gaming specific functions in one place. And this shows you the frame rate your game is running at along with the black stabilizer, low latency. You can also optimize the picture depending on the type of game you're playing. So you can flip between standard, FPS, RPG, RTS, sports, and user, which all have slightly different picture settings. So really impressed with this. 
Watching movies on the TV or streaming services, the TV performed really well with excellent clarity levels complemented by inky blacks. It supports Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos together with HDR10 Pro and Filmmaker Mode to provide the ultimate home cinema experience. And with Filmmaker Mode, you can see movies exactly how the director intended as it turns off motion smoothing while preserving the original ratio, colours and frame rate. And this delivers the director's original vision as you experience the film the way they intended. There's nine different picture modes plus a personalised picture wizard which I've shown side by side on the screen to give you an idea of the differences and each one can be adjusted depending on your preference. But personally I prefer cinema as it seems to be the most natural giving a good viewing experience. HDR10 Pro is supported and this adjusts the brightness to enhance the colour and reveals every tiny detail to give awesome clarity levels. Then there's Dolby Vision which intelligently adjusts picture settings based on the content genre and ambient surroundings. Now one thing that did impress me about the TV was the fact that the increase in brightness levels made a hell of a difference when using the TV in a bright room as you hardly notice any glare on the screen. There's really nothing I could fault in terms of picture quality on this TV. It's absolutely stunning. The sound quality from the speakers is not bad considering how thin the TV is. It has 7.2 channel down firing speakers and have a listen to this to hear for yourself. But if you're getting this TV for movies and gaming, then it's definitely worth investing in a good sound bar or surround sound system to get the best experience. The OS is LG's WebOS Smart TV. The home dashboard is well laid out and performance is very quick while navigating around, not sluggish in any way and pretty easy to use with an intuitive feel to it. The TV does come pre-installed with some apps, but there's an app store where you can download any additional apps like Spotify, Amazon Prime and lots more. Any apps that you install will appear here at the bottom and you can rearrange them however you like. It also works with Apple AirPlay 2 and it even supports cloud gaming. So if you have an Nvidia GeForce Now account, you can access and stream games directly to your TV without the need for a secondary device. You just have to pair up a controller which can be done via Bluetooth. Then there's LG's ThinQ AI voice assistant, which has a deep learning feature. So the more you use it, the better it gets. Or you could link it to both Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant for voice assistant. There's also a multi-view option allowing you to watch two different sources at the same time. So you could be gaming and keeping an eye on a live sports event. But worth mentioning, displaying two separate HDMI feeds is supported, but it has to be done by selecting the dual PC option. And the maximum supported here is 4K at 60Hz. The remote that comes with the LG G3 has a user-friendly layout and a good feel to it with a scroll wheel around the middle and it has a magic motion that brings a pointer onto the screen allowing you to quickly maneuver around by just moving the remote around. You've got some quick access buttons on the bottom including Netflix, Disney Plus and Amazon Prime. You also have built-in microphone where you can initiate voice commands at the press of a button but there's no backlight on the remote. Now one of the biggest concerns with OLEDs is the screen burn-in or image retention. And this is where an image is permanently displayed on the screen. For example, if you constantly had the same static window displayed on the screen, or if there was a logo in the corner, that logo could potentially burn in and remain even when you switch channels or changed to a different source. To protect against this, the TV does have some OLED care options. And from my own experience, I own two OLEDs, so a LG C9 and a C1, which I've had for a number of years now, and I've not experienced any issues. Plus it helps that LG provides a five-year warranty in case of any issues, which is great. So in summary, the LG OLED Evo G3 Smart TV takes the OLED viewing experience to the next level with the use of MLA technology, making the picture quality significantly brighter than its predecessor. And it has excellent video processing, providing stunning visuals. Colors are vibrant with inky blacks, providing an amazing viewing experience at any angle with no tint or loss of contrast. Gaming wise, it doesn't disappoint either with the G3 having four HDMI 2.1 ports, supporting 4K at 120 Hertz at the full bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. It also supports variable refresh rate and it's both AMD FreeSync Premium and Nvidia G-Sync compatible. It has a lightning fast response time of 0.1 milliseconds, making the gaming experience absolutely amazing on this. LG also give a five year warranty with the TV, which is a big positive. But just a note, in the first year of the warranty, the panel, parts and labor costs are covered. But after that, only the panel is covered and labor will be charged for. 
Negatives wise, it's a shame it doesn't come with a tabletop stand and the speakers are good, but nothing amazing. But that's the same with most flat screen TVs and not really a deal breaker. So there you have it. You come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And if you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. And for those of you who got to the end of this video, please leave a comment with LG G3 as it's nice to see who's made it to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.